Walk us through what we can expect after this long wait. Restore trust, you heard from Jean-Claude Trichet, restore credibility with some austerity. We know that 60 billion euros are needed, uh, two-thirds will come from savings, one-third from uh, tax hikes. Uh, the finance minister, Antoine Armand, has already said that a big part of the savings will actually come from uh, capping the budget of the ministries. Some public services will be merged, some public servants not replaced, there should be less support for R&D, less support for apprenticeship. The social security system will also contribute with less payment for sick days, a delay in the indexation of pensions, and of course, tightening the belts of local authorities. Now, in terms of taxes, extra revenues, we've talked a lot already about this new extra tax on the big companies, generating more than 1 billion euros of revenues. This should bring as much as 8 billion euros. This should target about 300 of the biggest companies. As you can see here, some construction sector, Eiffage, Bouygues, Vinci, uh, the aviation sector, Dassault Aviation, Safran, according to Morgan Stanley, analysts actually should be impacted by as much as 5% of their net income, so quite significant here. And in terms of taxes that could affect individuals, the end of the electricity tariff shields that were inherited from the energy crisis, that will be totally uh, finished. And finally, for the wealthiest individuals, they should see their income tax uh, increase if you're part of the 0.3% richest uh, in France. For example, a couple without children earning more than 500,000 euros a year, those people will see their income tax increase. Caroline, will this be not enough for Brussels, but too much for French politicians? Now, uh, that's a good question. We'll see uh, the reaction immediately from the rating agencies as soon as tomorrow night. We'll get Fitch uh, ratings. We know that uh, Brussels has already placed France under an excessive uh, deficit procedure. So they need to bring some answer. And the debt is going to continue to rise to 115% of GDP next year. As you can see, uh, it's gone constantly up over the past 25 years. It was 60% under President uh, Jacques Chirac at the beginning uh, of uh, this uh, century. Uh, now, uh, we'll um, uh, also see how long this government survives. It already survived a vote of no confidence on Tuesday night because the national rally didn't support the motion of censures from the left wing. Marine Le Pen has become the uh, de facto kingmaker in parliament. We'll see how long until she actually pulls the rug.